Today we're going to look at a couple of new tools we got for the shop. Hey everybody, welcome back to the IE427 Garage. Today we're going to look at a couple of new tools that uh, I've gotten for the shop in the last month or so. Um, I've had a chance to use both of these tools so far and I'm pretty impressed with both of them. So uh, let's just dive right in and I'll give you a, a, a look at what, what we've got and uh, what we use them for and what we think of them. All right, first tool is this. It is a nut setting tool. I had a nut setting tool from everyone's favorite discount tool store that I bought with a collection of nut certs probably five or six years ago. I got about five or six uses out of that tool before the handle basically on it bent or collapsed. And so I was really skeptical about buying another nut setting tool from them. But recently they came out with this, um, this Doyle line. And the quality on this and the, uh, the actual tool itself is much more substantial than the old one that they sold, um, has increased quite a bit. And so I figured I'd give it another chance. Uh, this is not a paid advertisement for them. I, I, you know, I pay for all these tools myself. But I will tell you that to this point, I've been using this this tool for, like I said, about a month. I've actually been using it a lot on Michael's um, Mark III build, and I'm pretty impressed with the way it works. It's uh, it's big. Um, it it's not going to get into tight spaces where um, you know a smaller hand riveting uh, style of nut setting tool would get in but it th this thing works so let me let me go ahead and turn this thing around and I'll give you a look at it so you can see I mean I've got pretty big hands but this is this is quite a bit bigger than the um, the, the, the tool that it replaces or the or the the upgrade in tool so I've got it set up for quarter 20 nut certs right now and I've been using a lot of quarter 20 nut certs in Michael's car I used the quarter 20 nut certs let's see if we can get you under here to attach the holly to the backing plate right there and so I've used it for that I used it for God, how many other things on this car so far? Quite a, quite a few. And uh, for putting some of the um, removable access covers, like for the fuel pump and uh, the fuel sending unit in the trunk, we'll be using this tool as well. But um, it, it 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 really it's it's really impressed me. I think the tool was around fifty dollars. Um, so it's quite a bit. You know, it's it's more than double what their seventeen or twenty dollar tool costs. I don't even know if they sell that tool anymore. The funny thing is, is that they do not sell nut certs at that store. You, in order to get nut certs, you have to buy the tool. And so I've been buying nut certs at um, on Evil Bay. So I buy them, you know, by the fifty or by the hundred. And so I generally use nothing but the aluminum ones because I'm not using any in any critical areas that will require steel nut certs. But with the with the tool, they gave you or they give you steel nut certs. So I've yet to try one of these. I may uh, just for demonstration purposes, I may grab one of these, the the largest ones, which are the uh, quarter twenty, and drill out a piece of stock and insert one of these for you guys and, and show you how it works so um if anybody's looking to buy a 
a good quality nut sorting tool for you know in the $50 range you know like I said I've been really impressed with the way this one works all right so we are going to take the nut cert start threading it on the end here and then open up the tool so you're gonna open up the tool like this so that the nose of the tool is projected out as far as it's gonna go thread it on the rest of the way we're gonna put it through the pre-punched hole and give it a good clamp down and that is about it you unscrew the tool Now this is one of the steel inserts, guys, and uh, you can see it it mushroomed that thing down really good. It's in there good and tight. I actually over uh, uh, oversized drilled that hole because I was, I just use a unibit, um, but it'll it'll be even tighter if you use the actual drill size. Now be careful because not every nut insert, regardless of size, quarter inch. Uh, 832, 1024. Not every one of these inserts is going to be the exact same size. So always match it up with your drill bits and drill uh, cautiously. Always start smaller. And when you finally, you know, drill big enough that it'll push through, that's the one you want. Sometimes that'll take, you know, if, if, you're, if you're using a brand new set of nut inserts, you may have to try uh, a different size, you know, smaller drill bit first and then open it up bigger until the nuts are just fits in because you do want these to be snug before you install them so there you go i'm like i said i'm really happy with this tool so far i i uh i don't recommend tools all that often you know i always tell tell everybody you know buy buy good good tools and buy them once but uh there are some tools that you're you know are going to be one or two time use and it doesn't make sense to spend a fortune and so a lot of times you can buy one of these questionable quality tools and you get lucky so i think we got i, I got really lucky on this tool i think i'm going to get uh, a lot of use out of this all right next tool i got was this impact gun from ryobi and i picked this up got it it it's this has actually been a long time i think i ordered this tool in january and it stayed on back order for three or four months um when i initially hit the 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 send button for my order i ordered this through the orange um home center online and when i hit that button it said available and the next day i got a email saying that the tool was on back order and did i want to cancel now i don't know if it's because they had inventory problems or what but it kept telling me that I could upgrade to this next tool up for $49. And I thought, well, I don't want to upgrade. You know, I haven't even tried this tool yet. So, you know, so I, I didn't need the tool because I already had an impact driver that I use a, a, a bunch in the shop here. But I really wanted something that I could speed lug nuts on and off and not have to worry about them being tight enough or to forget that I didn't torque down a lug nut and so with this i figured it would get them tight enough that you know they wouldn't they wouldn't back off anyways this is an 18 volt three speed and it has uh the lithium ion battery in it and so i don't have any other ryobi tools most of my construction tools are either milwaukee or makita simply because I've just I've used those those brands of tools for so many years and I'm accustomed to them and I I don't have problems with them and the batteries seem to last long so I was a little bit hesitant about going outside of those two tool brands but this tool was ninety nine dollars so it came with the impact gun the charger and the battery no case. 
but but all all the, all that stuff came for ninety nine dollars, and for that price, I, I I figured you know it was worth a shot, and so I I went ahead and I bought it, and then I just waited, and about once every two to three weeks, they kept reminding me that I still had this item on back order, and they continued to ask me if I wanted to cancel the order and get the next tool up, and I could I could no longer find this tool on the website for that price. So I figured, well, I'll just wait. You know, eventually I figured they'd, they'd cancel the order altogether, but I figured if I wait, maybe maybe they'll get one. And sure enough, about five weeks ago, I had notification that it had shipped. And I was like, yippee. Um, but I've been using it in the shop and, and a companion tool that I, brought, I, I bought to go along with that was a set of impact sockets. Now I have some of the flip sockets for a lug wrench that I generally uh, keep in the trailer on trips or in the trunk of the car along with the key for the wheel locks. And it's the same flip style of socket that you, ha you're, you have to use a, an extension with, but they're just uh, the standard, what is it? vanadium chrome or something like that so i figured well you know what i'll get a set of impact sockets and so i think i ordered these from evil bay and i think they were 17 dollars and 99 cents and then of course since we live here in the communist state of california i had to pay tax and the shipping was free so i think all toll i was into it for like 18 dollars and change and so i've used these as well let's see if i can get this this cover off of here. It's not going to want to cooperate, of course. All of my uh, other YouTube creators will tell you how fun it is to work with one hand while you're filming. So, it comes with all of the popular sizes for lug nuts. So, here we've got uh, 21 millimeter and 7 8 so you know, one's on one side, one's on the other. We've got three quarter and three uh, thirteen sixteenths, and then we've got seventeen millimeter and nineteen millimeter on this one. And so, if you haven't seen the way these work, the detent for the ball in the extension is pretty far down in there. So by the time you pop this in, the extension is just you know an inch long. But once you, you you snap it on onto the end of the the gun, you've pretty much got. Let's see, use my belly. You've got that just where it needs to be, and and I tell you, this tool actually works really good. Um, let's see, which socket do I have on here? Let's take that one off. We'll put the three quarter on, and we'll zip a lug nut here. So I mean, it it powers those things on and off pretty good. Now, up to this point, I've always used, in the shop, I've used my Milwaukee impact driver. And what I do is I put a socket adapter on it. So I'll use one of these socket adapters. Goes in the end of it. And then I'll just grab one of my three quarter inch 3 8 drive sockets and that's what I'll put lug nuts on and off with in the shop. Problem with that is this doesn't get these you know up to 75 or 85 uh, 80 pounds that you need to keep a lug nut on. So before these things ever hit the street I, I make sure that I grab the torque wrench and then I torque the lug nuts down to what they're supposed to be. With the new gun I can put the lug nuts on and be sure that they're not going to come off and then I can follow it up with the the uh, the torque wrench later. So I am I'm more apt to get those lug nuts all on and on tight with that gun. And so I thought it was just time to invest in an actual impact wrench rather than the impact driver. Now I still use the crap out of this impact driver. I mean you can see how dirty and beat up this thing is it gets a workout here in the shop i use it to put uh 
you know self drilling trim screws in and I use it for uh, engine work when I'm breaking down an engine like the LS engine over here for the Maverick project uh, so I use this impact driver all the time but this one is for things that this one just can't handle and uh, I just thought I had gotten to the point where I needed something a little bit bigger so there you go guys all right so that's going to be kind of a short one for today little tool review for you if anybody um views this video later six months down the road a year down the road and um you guys want an update a long-term update on on you know how i like the tool and uh, how it's holding up and stuff like that you know just throw throw a comment down there i'm pretty good at returning uh um messages in the comments and i'll give you a long-term review on it if you guys are interested in other tools that i use here in the shop same thing send me a, uh, a comment either directly through youtube or or the email link or you know at the bottom of this video and tell me what you're you know what you're interested in knowing about what i use here in the shop and then uh, i'll see if i can tailor a video uh more towards that so i think that's going to wrap things up for today as always Appreciate you watching. If you want to, hit the little subscribe button so that you're notified uh, you know, of new videos. And uh, you can also click the, the, the notification uh, bell in the, on, on the bottom as well. And uh, we'll see you guys all next time. Have a great day.